you for joining us in the fourth of our five videos in the Leading Remotely for the Long Term series. This one is on engagement, which I'm sure you would agree is, is one, of the, one of the more challenges, one of the greater challenges that we've faced. I think the common problem is that lack of social interaction that we're having, which is potentially affecting engagement and then ultimately affecting productivity. So we come from the school of thought that the more engaged you are, the more likely you are to, to be productive in the workplace. I certainly recall in my time in my career that when I've been the happiest or most engaged is when I've worked the hardest and, and the longest. The, the view, I think, is, is the challenge is that the, the engagement levels can affect culture. I tend to think that's one of the, one of the key facets of, of a culture is, is the engagement levels. Uh, it's probably fair to say that cultures have been affected by by working remotely and our challenge as leaders is how do we how do we uh, make sure that people remain remain engaged and in this video I'm going to share a few tips for you to how to potentially do that I think it's uh, I'm also of the view that culture is potentially more important through this through this when you're working remotely one of the key difficult thing for employees is being able to distinguish the work life from the home life and when they come together and merge that's potentially potentially a challenge there's also that that process by which when you are going to work you whether you're uh, on your way to work or that that process of getting out of the car and into into the work or transport whatever the case may be that's not necessarily happening at home so you're not having that period of time to be able to switch on and be ready for work so uh, we as leaders need to provide plenty of support around that. The tips I have for you are five, so some of them you may have already been doing, and I'm going to finish off with what I think is the most important. Uh, the first one is creating, opportunity that you, creating opportunities for those uh, social interactions. You probably tried some quizzes, I think they're a good idea. Celebrate uh, uh, people's anniversaries or birthdays, I think it's a good one, good one as well. Uh, get your team on calls regularly, I think that's a great way to do it. As long as there's a purpose, but you know, if it's not a work purpose, there's nothing wrong with having a social purpose. You know, I think people assume that when you're at home and you get distracted by someone at the door or uh, you know chatting to somebody else, that productivity is lower. I, I tend to think that happens in the workplace anyway. In fact, it's a fundamental part of the workplace is that that chance to chat, reinvigorate yourself, and, and then go again. The third one is, as a leader, don't be afraid to pick up the phone or just get on a video call and just have a chat. It doesn't always have to be about work. I think you know, uh, is it preparing yourself for Zoom calls every day? It's very quite formal. So break that down a little bit. Have some have some chat. And the fourth one, the fourth one is if you are in a position where you are, as you've got a hybrid model, mix it up. Uh, you know, have different days in the work work office. Make sure they're not the same every day. You can do that if if possible. That may not always be the case, but if you're in a position to do that, do that. And I would recommend it. The last one is keep it fresh mix it up. You may find that you did a quiz four weeks in a row and all of a sudden it drops off. Sort of the, you've got to keep trying something different. Uh, get someone else to lead the, uh, the, the, the Zoom call. Uh, make sure that you're doing your calls in different locations so there's a different environment. Keep it fresh, keep it moving and don't just accept that if something worked the first time it's going to continue to work forever. Keep changing it up, keep moving it. Okay, so uh, there's your tips for today. So thank you for, uh, for tuning in. Bye-bye.